today we are kicking off a deep dive, a very uh, in-depth investigation of what led to the uh, now infamous uh, campfire dildo situation, as we call it. The situation that occurred sometime last week. That's the first time we've heard about this, and so it became very important for us to launch a, a very serious investigation into how this happened, and uh, uh, we need to go and speak to the R team and find out a little bit about just whether or not this was intentional, or just what the hell is going on here. We have questions for you. We need a straight answer. No, uh, no mucking about this time. What about that uh, campfire dildo situation? I have no idea. We will now ask Johnny the question. Johnny, how did it come about that we have a dildo in the campfire in the lobby? Um, I would probably say one of the survivors dropped it. When I first heard of this, I did take a quick look and there may be a branch somewhat resembling this phallic shape, but um, I think people are a little uh, too reasons to create the now infamous campfire dildo. It was the, the, the task I've been assigned to do. Oh, that's why. You're just doing your job, following orders. Uh, possibly the phallic looking branch that they may be referring to? Um, I heard you might have something uh, to bring to the very serious investigation that we're doing right now into what led to the very infamous campfire dildo problem. <laughs> yes, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the revenge of the old art director, I don't know. Is this what everyone's talking about? Right That's there. a rack of Oreos. In here. Okay. Uh, this oh, may be what's in question. We need to dig deeper. Uh, 